It's an iconic pair of jeans and it cost about 100 pounds. So plenty of replicas out there in the market. On this video, I'm going to show you guys how to spot a replica pair of Levi's jeans. So for this, I have a pair of Levi's 501 original jeans and I have managed to find a similar pair of replica jeans too. At the end of the video, I'm going to try on the genuine pair of jeans and tell you guys how they fit. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's go. So guys, the first key feature on our Levi's jeans is the top main button. So check the button details and the marks. Top button always should be a well finished copper or silver button that doesn't fade over time. As you can see on the original Levi's jeans, button is smaller than the fake one. Also, the embossed letterings are more clearer and neat on the real jeans comparing to the other. And also, on the genuine jeans, there is a 4 digit number stamped into the back of the top button. This number should be matched to the number on the white care label on the inside of the jeans at the top right corner. Whereas on the fake jeans, there isn't any number stamped into the back of the top button. Next up, you can check the copper rivets of the jeans. They have placed these rivets on the areas of the jeans that are most likely to be pulled apart by strain or movement. The copper rivets on the real jeans look so solid and heavy duty. They are rust proofed permanent fasteners. Whereas the rivets on the fake jeans look weak and cheap. They do not have that real copper color too. I do not think they would last long. Also, the engravings on the back of the copper rivets on the real Levi's jeans are neat and has a good finish. However, on the fake jeans, engravings back of the copper rivets are not neat. You can clearly see they just try to copy, there is no quality or attention to detail. These genuine Levi's 501 original jeans come with button fly fastening and these buttons are silver, should be similar to the main top button. On the real Levi's jean buttons look solid and they have a more depth comparing to the fake Levi's jeans buttons. Also, lettering embods are very neat and tidy, more clearer comparing to the fake jean buttons. Whereas on the fake jean buttons, I don't think they are real silver. They are shiny and light, not so heavy as the real jean buttons. I think they are just cheap metal buttons. Also, the buttonholes on the fake jeans are quite messy and loose, whereas on the genuine Levi's jeans buttonholes are neat and nicely stitched. The stitchings throughout the real Levi's jeans are high of quality. Even the threading that they use has a high strength and a high durability. Also, they have used chain stitches on the areas that gets pulled apart by movements to give a good strength to the jeans. Whereas the fake Levi's jeans throughout, all I noticed is loose stitchings. They don't look durable, they just imitate the stitchings pattern of the rail. But no quality or a good finish to the stitchings. The red tab on the genuine Levi's jeans is perfectly cut and stitched onto the pocket of the jeans. Also, Levi's perfectly printed on the red tab along with the registered symbol sign. However, keep in mind that some genuine Levi's jeans I have seen that have only an R mentioned on the red tab. These also considered as authentic. When you're looking at the red tab on the fake Levi's jeans, it is smaller than the genuine. They couldn't get the measurements right. Also, the material that they used is poor quality comparing to the genuine jeans. Another key feature of a genuine Levi's jeans is the leather patch. Always look for the high quality leather patch on the back of the waistband. This leather patch is another way of identifying a genuine pair of Levi's jeans. When you're looking at the patch on the genuine jeans is high of quality and the model, waist and leg measurements are printed in black. Also the print quality and the stitchings around the patch are high of quality. Whereas the fake jeans does not have a leather patch. It has a Rexine patch kind of a artificial leather patch. They have used a Rexin patch to minimize the cost. Also, the print quality is very poor. 
the print quality and the material used for the inner thigh label just below the pocket is very high quality on the genuine Levi's jeans. On the fake jeans, all they have done is to copy the label but couldn't manage the quality at all. Also, on the genuine jeans, the print quality of the back right pocket Levi's poster patch is high of quality, printed nicely and clearer. Whereas the fake jeans print is poor, even the ink is keep coming off. Lastly, check for the overall quality of the jeans. Levi's make their jeans up to very high standards. There are no cutting corners in production. Numerous quality checks before coming onto the shelves. If there are any loose stitchings or any faulty metal works, chances are they are fake. The waist measures 17.5 inches when laid flat. They just hug my waist with having a bit of space to put fingertips in. For me, they are a bit loose without a belt. It measures 12.5 inches from crotch seam to the outer seam, having looser on my legs but not too loose which is the right size. These jeans sit at my waist with having a front rise of 12 inches. They are regular fit through the seat and thigh and super comfortable with having a relaxed straight leg. The hem measurement comes in at 8.25 inches when laid flat and the inseam is 32 inches but they are too long for me. So guys, I hope you find all this information helpful and useful. If you ever to buy a pair of Levi's jeans, you will know what to look out for. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. My question for you today is, have you ever bought a pair of replica jeans thinking it was real? Comment down below, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more videos. See you next time.